November 24, Sunday, Solemnity of Our Lord Jesus Christ, King of the Universe A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke The ruler sneered at Jesus and said, He saved others, let him save himself, if he is the Chosen One, the Christ of God. Even the soldiers jeered at him as they approached to offer him wine. They called out, If you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. Above him, there was an inscription that read, This is the king of the Jews. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly, for the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. The Gospel of the Lord Lord of mercy and compassion, for this year's celebration of Christ the King, we read the account of the crucifixion and death of Jesus from Luke, often called the Gospel of the Poor, of women, of the Gentiles, and of mercy. Here, Jesus is shown as Lord of mercy and compassion. Jesus and his passion shows himself a wounded healer. He does not draw attention to his suffering, but to the suffering of others to whom he brings healing. He weeps, but for Jerusalem, who does not know the day of her visitation or what makes for peace. In Gethsemane, he heals the severed ear of the high priest servant. When Peter betrays him, he looks at the apostle and Peter weeps bitterly. On the way to Calvary, he tells the women of Jerusalem not to weep for him, but for themselves and for their children. He prays to the Father to forgive those who are responsible for his crucifixion, and he promises paradise to the repentant thief. Indeed, the face of the crucified one is the face of mercy. In the last extraordinary jubilee of mercy 2016, Pope Francis invited us to fix our eyes on Jesus and his merciful gaze. He wrote that the mission Jesus received from the Father was that of revealing the mystery of divine love in its fullness. The signs Jesus worked, especially in the face of sinners, the poor, the marginalized, the sick, and the suffering were all meant to teach mercy. Everything in Jesus, Pope Francis reminded us, speaks of mercy. Nothing in him is devoid of compassion. In this response, mercy should be the foundation of the church's life. It is Pope Francis' wish that all the church pastoral activity should be caught up in the tenderness she makes present to believers. And this is the true test. The church's very credibility is seen in how she shows merciful and compassionate love. 